Good morning, AMS. Today is March 8th, also known as National Women's Day. Do you know who is a famous woman? Amelia Earhart. Oh, she seems cool. On to lunch. Today's lunch is cheesy pool of bar bread with marinara, cheddar sun chips, seasoned green beans, fresh broccoli with ranch, mandarin orange cup, fresh fruit, and, and milk. milk. You gotta beat Macaulay. You gotta work hard, you guys. Whew. Done four? Was that four? I think that's enough. Okay. The last day of the quarter is Friday, March 15th. Turn in and finish all your homework and assignments to your teachers by then. Go Aviators. Good morning, AMS. The YWCA will have a $1,000 scholarship opportunity for students in grades 6, 7, and 8. You will need to write an essay based upon geography. The scholarship is given at the successful completion of high school based on higher education aspirations. If you are interested, please see one of your teachers or your school counselor. Thank you. Ms. Beeman is running her annual Create a Bookmark Challenge. If you're interested, see Ms. B for an entry form. All entries are due Friday, March 15th. Hey, Ernie, what's going on? What are you so excited about? Well, I want to celebrate people's birthdays. I want to tell everybody about it. We've got some birthdays to celebrate. Yay! level 300 and I wish I was bluffing about that you know he really needs to get a breath of fresh air sometimes um grass feels good too grass is lovely yeah for our cameraman if he's watching this yeah grass is great grass is lovely you can play sports on it you can like run on it you can touch it. it yeah touch dude. you can even touch especially it especially yeah. touch you can touch it you can even touch the grass it's crazy but it, we're just gonna get to the question once again, impossible to enter, like usual, off the, off the scale. Off the scale. It's off the scale. But, um. Like, if this was a scale, there wouldn't even be a scale. It's up there. Like, up this there. It's up, up there. It's up there. You know? And y'all already know your chances of answering the question. Never. Um, a 10 million percent chance of not getting it right. You know? But, um, today's question is 
What is it called when you score a goal in soccer? Come on now. If 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 if, if, if you watch announcers, players. if you come on soccer players, if y'all really watch soccer and y'all hear the announcers, like some they, people we know. Yeah, like soccer. Ronaldo, you know, and Messi. Don't what do them announcers be? They be they be getting geeked up when they score. When uh, he be like. When, when Ronaldo, he'd be like, see And yeah, they got like emotes and everything. Right, they be, and they be sliding across the field on their knees. I don't know how they be doing that. That must hurt. I get burned. Like, yeah, like, that got to hurt. It's on turf, too. Like, how do y'all do that? Soccer's on turf? Yeah. I got to look that one up. I don't know about that one. I think one. it is. If it isn't, let us know. But um, we're going to leave y'all to that. 10 Wait, million what? percent chance of not getting We should do. Oh, yeah. Stu, sixth student and seventh teacher. Seventh teacher, you want to do that? Let's go with that. Catch y'all later. Sad, back with another banker. And I'm here to remind y'all the four beasts. Be safe, be responsible, be respectful, and be a learner. And always go aviators. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ten more days to spring break. Yippee!